Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you guys, it's going to be super short. Um, we rebuked a storm last night. And so I just wanted to show you, uh, in case some of you were like, well, you know, what kind of a storm could it really have been? I'm telling you, it flew from out of nowhere. It literally whooped up in here. And literally, I knew immediately it was demonic, that it wasn't natural. It wasn't okay. Um, and I was like, let's just get up off the couch. We're going to go outside and speak to and rebuke this storm. And so sure enough, that is exactly what we did. So let me turn the camera around now. Hey, 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 I'm a hot mess. You'll have to ignore the way that I look. <laughs> kind of relaxing today um, with everything I did this past week, the traveling and all the different, um, the speaking and live videos and stuff. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Danny. Um, so I want to show you what it looked like out here in the yard, that storm that we rebuked, you know. Hey, Billy. We looked at that storm and we pointed our fingers at it. We knew it was demonic and it was not of God. Hey, Lisa. And so what did we do? We spoke to that storm. Hey, Roseanne, like I said, again, I'm resting today. You'll have to ignore the way that I'm kind of looking like right now. I'm just, I'm relaxing from the, uh, just the awesome week I had this past week. So I want to just show you some of the things that's gone on in the yard. Um, you know, that this was indeed quite a uh, huge, I mean, it was huge. I knew that it was going to be much worse. And we spoke to it as soon as it started. Imagine if we had waited. This is why it's so important not to second guess yourself, but to take action immediately. You know, we control the wind and the weather. And this isn't the first time we've done this here at the prayer house, um, nor has, is it the first time I've done this myself. So let me turn this camera around and see if I can. Um, there are just various things here in the yard, little tiny things that are just down on the ground, you know, little tiny things that fail. And that's not that big a deal, but let me get over here. Oh, there's some of my little, oh, I love those. I think, I don't know what you call those, but anyway, I call them like pom-pom bushes. But um, I'm sure there's some other term for them. Y'all probably know what it is. But let me show you this right here. Um, the sun's so bright out here, it's hard for me to tell what you can see. But this is one of the limbs that came down. And I'm telling you, this storm was done and over with in like less than... Uh, five minutes. Now, yes, it continued to rain. Yes, it continued to have a little bit of lightning at a distance. But see, we backed this storm up. We commanded the winds to be still. Nothing damaging. Nothing life-threatening. Nothing life-taking. We commanded the lightning to stop and see. And here's another one. Okay? And then if we go right around over here, you know, because these are giant trees in the yard. Uh, um, you know what? Here's another one. And you know what? Let's see if I've got that in the camera view. It's hard, so hard to tell with the sunlight, the way that it's doing. Um, but anyway, so here's another one. And, you know, these are right up close onto the house here. You know, this is right up very close to the house. Um, and again, these ones over here. Again, you know, this is like very close to the house here. Uh, where is the house? There's the house. Here's these limbs. Um, and so what did we do? When we went out on the porch, immediately when we opened the door, the wind had come from the north, south, east, and west. And it was like I could hear a, a force behind it. One of the things I could tell was that, number one, we were doing what? We were praying for the different regions. We were commanding angels to pull down from the heights anything, any sin, any principalities, anything. It didn't matter its name. It didn't matter what it was, uh, you know, from people, from demonic entities, anything that had been put in the atmosphere that had tried to raise itself higher than the name of God, anything that had tried to be loftier than God, for them to pull it down. And when we started that prayer, you guys, this is what occurred. The wind started whipping like crazy. And I said, uh-uh, we're not dealing with this. So we get up off the couch. We go outside, off the couches. We go outside, and we start pointing at the wind. And there was so much mist in the atmosphere because the winds was coming from the north, south, east, and west, you guys. I hope my hand's not over the camera. <laughs> I just realized I was holding the phone, just randomly walking around. But at any rate, you know, I was like, this has to be stopped. And so when we spoke to this storm, I'm telling you, it, um, you know, all these limbs and different things on the ground, none of them hit the house. There's nothing on the house. We just kept saying there will be no damage. You know, we can have wind. We can have rain. Those are good things. But we're not going to have anything damaging. And so that's sure enough, that's what we did. We spoke to that and we commanded that we were not going to have anything that was not of God, that wasn't right. We were just not going to have that, okay? And so, sure enough, that's what we ended up getting. Let me see if I can get this camera turned right back around to where you can sort of, uh, hey, <laughs> like I said, um, 
I'm resting today. I didn't exactly prepare for this video, but when I looked outside, I said, you know what? What a teaching opportunity. I really need to show this to my friends to let you know you can do the same thing. That's the power of agreement. But even if you're a single believer in your home and a storm has come up at your house, put your hand up and tell it to be still. I'm not putting up with this. Command angels. I, we even said that we commanded the angels to go up into that storm and pull down those entities over that storm that were doing that thing. You know, sometimes it's just the weather doing its thing that's been natural, put in motion. And sometimes you know you can tell that's just demonic. But whether it's nature or whether it's demonic, it's all going to be according to how we speak. That's right, because that's the authority that Jesus Christ of Nazareth has given us. So you guys, oh, whoa, it's hot out here. And I'm look at me, I'm in my PJ still. But you guys, happy Father's Day to the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. Y'all enjoy, y'all enjoy, and you have an awesome, awesome time. And I love you guys and i will talk with you later you're powerful you're overcomer speak to those storms in your life and tell them to shut up and to be quiet that's what we did last night and that's why there's only just a few limbs down instead of trees or um you know even if trees had come down you know we would have put our hands up and said we command that you fall the other way away right and so we just speak i speak that y'all have that same authority in your mouth to speak to storms may god do it to build your faith may he do it so that your neighbors what so they're impressed with you no not exactly so they do take notice my gosh when you opened your mouth that storm ceased why would god let that happen so that you can tell them that's your doorway right there to tell them all about jesus let me tell you about my god and how awesome and powerful he is so love you guys and um i'll talk with you later